Welcome to Dr. Tom Talks. Today, seasonal affective disorder. With the help of the biodigital human, I'm going to be talking about what seasonal affective disorder is, why it happens, and what you can do about it. So as we head more in towards the winter months, the days are getting shorter, so we have less light, I can start wearing my ugly Christmas sweater. This disorder is more prevalent because it's all to do with light. So what is it? Seasonal affective disorder is a diagnosable mental illness similar to but not the same as depression. A lot of similar symptoms like feeling sad, feeling the need to sleep more, eating more, and so on. Why does it happen? Well, it's all to do with light. Light enters the eye right here, and then a signal goes up your optic nerve right here to an area of the brain that I'm going to show you using the remove tool here called the suprachiasmatic nucleus. And that's in the hypothalamus right here, just above the optic chiasm. That then sends a message to the pineal gland, which you can actually just search for here using the anatomy tree. And I'm just going to isolate that so you can just see exactly where that is in the brain. So the signal is sent, there it is right there, the pink object right here. The signal is sent from the suprachiasmatic nucleus to the pineal gland, and that releases melatonin. So if you have less light going into your eye, like at night, you start releasing more melatonin. And that's one of the theories behind why you might feel sleepier or more tired during the winter months, one of the symptoms of seasonal affective disorder, because you're getting less light and therefore releasing more melatonin and therefore feeling more tired and wanting to sleep. Now, the other uh, neurotransmitter that I want to mention is serotonin. So serotonin, you may have heard of, talked about with depression and so on. And it's relevant here too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a particular area of the brain that's thought to be involved uh, in seasonal affective disorder. And I'm just going to isolate that area of the brain. So if you see here, you can see the anatomy tree. I'm just going to isolate the brainstem. And within the brainstem right here is something called the midbrain. And in the midbrain, you have something called the dorsal raphe nucleus. And in that nucleus, you have a lot of these neurons that produce serotonin. And they are the ones that are implicated um, in things like depression and seasonal affective disorder. So it's known that during the winter months where you have less light, you have lower levels of serotonin. This is like the happy hormone that's often targeted with treatments for depression, like SSRIs or serotonin, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. And so we at least know or think we know the area of the brain that's involved, one of the areas of the brain that's involved with serotonin. It's still not really sure, we're still not entirely sure why there are lower levels in the winter, but I just wanted to at least show you where it is in the brain. So what can you do about it? Well, obviously you want to increase your exposure to light. So getting outside as much as you can, increasing your exposure to light. If you're in an office all day and you have a windowless office, you can get these lamps or light boxes that shine light on you. Make sure you do it in the morning rather than in the evening so that you are actually able to get sleep in the evening. Keep obviously a normal sleep pattern, exercise, see your doctor if it's obviously severe, uh, but definitely light therapy has been uh, helpful in, in some patients uh, with this and some people who have this. That is seasonal affective disorder. This is Dr. Tom Talks. If you want any, any more, please go to biodigital.com.